Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to be watching episode 18 of Fate Apocrypha now. So, in this last episode we got to see this plan of Jin and Siege uh, to go and act as decoys so Assassin would go after them. And uh, apparently it worked, but it was much bigger than they expected I think. Uh, we saw how the fog was in a much bigger area than they were expecting, it wasn't just around them, it was... I don't know if it was the entire city, but it was a big portion of it. So yeah, it was really dangerous for everyone there. We saw they were already like feeling the effects of the poison and all of that. So it was really nice uh, for Jin to be there and help those people out. And then we saw the, uh, this fight between them. It wasn't that long, uh, mostly because uh, Chiron intervened and he basically took one of her legs out. So that was really, really quite something. And it's like... a this thing about this Jack the Ripper is a uh, is something that I it, like really confuses me um, in terms of feelings because on one end you know what she's doing and she's like killing all of these people and we know uh, like a bit of the story uh, or at least me I know a bit of the story of Jack the Ripper and then we see uh, Jack the Ripper like in this uh, series. She's like a little child and she's with uh, this girl who's like uh, her, her mother. I, I don't know if, he, if, if she's like... A, I, I, I honestly don't know like the full story of them and that's something that I really want to know. Like, I hope this episode shows a bit of that and it's, it's quite easy to like not, like not hate Jack the Ripper. That's basically what I mean. Uh, like she seems to be this child and she wants to be with, with her mother and they want to accomplish this dream with, with the girl. And yeah, it it was just just like really sad to see what happened at the end of the episode when her mother stepped in and basically sacrificed herself uh, for for an assassin. And then we see Atalanta also eating uh, Jack the Ripper, and I was quite surprised to see that didn't kill her. And she suddenly started making these like weird movements with her body. And then we see Siege in the middle of nowhere in that fog. And this little girl appears, and it's basically Jack the Ripper, but as like a, a much younger girl. So I don't know if that's like a, how it started, like the origin. I, I don't know if this is like a some kind of illusion. I'm I'm not sure about what's happening right now, but I'm sure this episode will explain plenty. And yeah, I can't wait to see it. So with that, I hope you guys are ready, and let's start the episode. You're gonna see that again. This moment was really sad, I won't lie. Even if you know what they're doing. And then this happens. That's really... creepy. I wonder if it, it, this is like... part of her power. It should be. She vanished and turned into fog herself. What are these ones? Yeah, that was probably a mistake. I don't know if this is part of her noble phantasm or not. Is that oh that's her oh she looks so nice oh it's her I saw green hair and I, I had the idea we were going to see the girl who's acting as Jack the Ripper's mother but yeah it's uh, it's Atalanta so I don't know exactly the effect of this uh, fog that she created it really seemed that she vanished into this fog or she turned into this fog and probably has some different powers now. So I don't know if this means that Jack the Ripper is gone, but before she's completely gone, she d does this. I guess we're, we're going to learn a bit of uh, about Atalanta.
Very curious to see what this fog is about. Or at least this special one. I guess it's like forcing some memories on Atalanta right now. Oh, that's uh, one of uh, uh, the sisters, right? I believe. Not sure though. Should be right, one of the three sisters of Medusa. Oh, damn. Really? Oh, that's Orion, right? Oh, uh, Artemis, never mind. Orion is the. Uh... Little bear, right? Not sure. Yeah. The wish you wanted to make to the grail. When they're doing this. And this is like a nightmare to her. Why was there a fish? Oh, it's uh, probably it's just some trash, okay. Is this Jin? Or supposed to be Jin? Oh my god! Okay, this fog is messing with their minds. Oh shit. Oh, me. This power is crazy. Like they're in a different dimension or something. That's Jin. Oh. Yeah, it's like a different dimension. They even change places, apparently. Like an illusion. Oh, so these are her memories, actually. Oh. That's a girl. Why is she there? I mean, this is a dream, so... Hmm. I 
this is really messed up. Damn. I'm having a hard time figuring out if this is what actually happened to to Jack the Ripper, to this servant. I mean, she's not a servant at this point, I believe. The fog. Damn. She can change what happened. Yep. She can change that fact. Oh. Why though? Oh, she's trying to save them. Oh, right. The, the idealism. She's like possessed. Her arm. Damn. She's not wrong, but... I mean, those kids are already dead, right? This is just an illusion. So they can change the fact that they died. But Atalanta doesn't see that. She, she wants to protect all the children. Damn. Yeah. That's gills. Damn. Yeah. This is supposed to be Jean as well.
It's not like she wants to kill because she wants. Not easy for her as well. They're accepting it. I mean, I understand Atalanta a lot, but yeah, this can't be helped. Not these ones. This is uh, just an illusion. Let's check the Raper. Man, this is so sad. Yeah, I am. Man, I was not expecting this scene to hit me this hard. My god. It's really hard to not feel a bit compassion against about Jack the Ripper. But Atalanta as well. So hard for her. Yeah, that was just like an illusion. I wish. Oh, damn. Well, glad I saw was there. I still wonder what's that thing in her arm, though. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Yep. It's the bad side of humanity.
and Man, this whole episode, so emotional. They're having some alone time. Man, I was really not expecting this to hit me this hard. Yeah. Jin is really admirable. Yeah. Totally different. Damn, this episode was unbelievable. I was like, I didn't know what that fog was. Like, it seems special, but apparently it was just creating this big illusion, basically creating this nightmare world where Jack the Ripper was. And we were able to see all of these messed up things happening to these children. But in the end, they couldn't save them. I mean... It's it's easy to understand both parts because Atalanta sees them as girl as children who can be saved, and Jin knows that it can't happen. They are part of the legend now, so they can't be saved. Like they can't live like Atalanta wants. But yeah, it's really really complicated. But in the end, you just understand both parts. And this, this last part with Jean was really, really beautiful. To learn more about how she feels and all of that. How she never gives up on people. She never, like, she doesn't want people to get judged like she was. I mean, she understands all of this really well. And she doesn't hate the people who, who did this. It's more like she, she doesn't want this to happen to anyone. So she, she is like, almost like spreading the word for people to love each other and not just completely hate each other. That's what she said. Hmm. Like the narrator, no. Probably special. A 
That's what I'm wondering. So it's just like the narrator now. <laughs> That's really interesting. But yeah, this whole episode really... I wasn't expecting that scene to hit me hard. I mean, it was it was everything at that moment. Like this, the thing that you start learning more about uh, the Jack the Ripper and you start seeing these... Like this thing developing, like Jin talking uh, at Atlanta as well, and this clash of uh, like not clash of idealisms, but to, like when you start seeing their how they see what what's happening, and you also start understanding uh, this Jack the Ripper and how all the children just accepted this. It was just like a really like a huge ro roller coaster, basically. Like I was just like really feeling emotional about all of that. And yeah, then the music the music doesn't help. Man, but that was really a really interesting episode. It's probably one of my favorites in terms of uh, like I don't know how to say it, but in terms of emotions and like story, it was really a really good one. And yeah, I'm just like now wondering what's going to happen. We saw that um, Atalanta also had that thing in her arm. I'm not quite sure what that was. I, I had the idea that was part of like the illusion something that jack the raper was causing to her but she seemed to to have it uh even after she left so um, i'm I, like I, i'm not sure what uh what that is <coughs> I'm, I'm not sure what that is but yeah we'll eventually learn and the next episodes are probably going to be really good we saw how shakespeare was basically saying that it's going to be like a new arc from now on, basically Jean against uh, Amaku Zashiro. So yeah, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. And as you guys saw, this was a really, a really good episode, and I was just so emotional about all of this. And it was really good to learn more about Jack the Ripper and see this illusion to understand like him better. And I'm still, I'm trying to understand uh, the role of uh, like of her mother, basically. And she kept saying that she was saved by these children and she gave their love back, basically. So it was basically something that happened to both sides. And in the end, this this triggered Jack the Ripper so much when she got killed and she just unleashed this thing. So I'm not, I, I was not aware that Jack the Ripper had this power of creating this big illusion using this fog. But yeah, it was really insane to see. And I'm just uh, like really glad to have seen this, to be honest, even if it was like really sad and we learned a lot of bad things about humanity and how they cause these situations. And yeah, this was a, a big experience to see just well, like he was able to see that the outside world isn't as beautiful as he as he thought. So it's uh, much more complex and every person is different. And there's this there's someone there's always someone who wants bad things to happen, basically. There's always haters in the world, unfortunately. And that's something that he learned right now. And it's probably going to change him. So, yeah. Really curious to see what happens from now on. We still have a couple of episodes left to watch. And, yeah, it's going to be going to be awesome to see like what kind of fights we are going to get. Uh, we see that Archer of Red, Atalanta, managed to get away. And now... They're probably going to to move forward with, with, with their plan of invading that fortress and retrieving the Greater Grail. And most of all, stopping Shiro and his plan of humanity salvation. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it's going to be great. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So... See ya.